see you. This is one of my favorite books. I also like to read. I know I have a lot of favorite books, and I do say that a lot. But I, <laughs> anyway, this is so fun, and everybody needs to try to do this. At the end of the book, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. It's called Carla's Sandwich. Oh, my gosh. Look at this dagwood of a sandwich, this big monstrosity. It's so big. I'm going to read it, and it is very funny. So listen closely. Carla Sandwich, written by Debbie Herman and illustrated by Sheila Bailey. Here we go. Carla Sandwich. Carla brought weird sandwiches to school. Buster noticed it first. He was sitting next to Carla at lunch one Monday. Ew! What are you eating? Buster asked. It's all green and slimy. It's an olive, pickle, and green bean sandwich, said Carla. I made it myself. Would you like some? I brought extra. No way, said Buster, pinching his nose. Ooh, that's gross. It's not gross, said Carla. It's different. I like to be different. It's not different, said Buster. It's gross. And he went to sit next to Leslie instead. On Tuesday, Carla's sandwich was long with something yellow and white oozing out the sides. What in the world is that? Asked Leslie. It's my banana cottage cheese delight, said Carla on a toasty baguette. Bananas and cottage cheese, asked Leslie, sticking out her tongue. Blech! That's disgusting. It's not disgusting, said Carla. It's creative. It's disgusting, said Leslie, and she went to sit next to Nate instead. Boys and girls, are they being very kind to their friend? I don't think so. On Wednesday, Carla's sandwich was orange and brown and lumpy. It crunched when she bit into it. Ugh, said Nate, who was sitting next to her now. What is that? I call it Carla's Crunch, said Carla. It's peanut butter, crackers, and cheddar cheese on a lovely pita bread. I brought extra. Would you like some? No way, said Natty, scrunching up his face. That's sick. It's not sick, said Carla. It's unique. It's sick, said Natty, and he went to sit next to Marcus instead. Oh, boys and girls, is that cotton ball or is that sandpaper? Look, I'm noticing her face. Sad. On Thursday, Carla brought a chopped liver, potato chip, and cucumber sandwich. On Friday, she brought a sardine and mustard sandwich with sunflower seeds. By Monday, no one wanted to sit next to Carla. Aw, so she ate by herself. Look at her face. Her eyes and her mouth is telling me that she's not very happy. At the end of the day, Miss Pimento made an announcement. Tomorrow we will have a picnic. Hooray! Everyone shouted, a picnic, yippee! The next day when the lunch bell rang, the kids ran to get their picnic lunches. I have peanut butter and jelly, Natty announced to the class. I have bologna, said Leslie. Tuna, called Buster. Hey, Carla, what do you have? Carla didn't answer. It's probably a ketchup, spinach, and jelly bean sandwich, Joe joke buster he and leslie howled so did natty it is not said carla let's have some quiet in here said miss pimento or we won't be able to have our picnic the class was suddenly quiet then the other children followed miss pimento two by two down the hall out the door and down the block to the park all right everyone said miss pimento find a place to sit Bon Appetit! Carla took a bite of her sandwich. Yuck! said Buster, pointing at Carla's sandwich. What is that? A worm sandwich? 
boys and girls. It's not very kind to talk that way to our friends. Look at her face again. She's so sad. For your information, said Carla, it's lettuce, tomato, raisin, bean sprout, pretzel, and mayonnaise sandwich. I call it the combo deluxe. It looks more like a wombo deluxe, teased Buster. Leslie and Natty burst out laughing. That's not kind. Buster rummaged through his knapsack. Uh oh, he said quietly. He rummaged some more. Uh oh, he said again. He dumped everything out of his bag. I can't believe it, Buster said sadly. I forgot my sandwich. Oh, that's awful, said Leslie, biting into her bologna sandwich. Real bummer, said Natty, chomping on his peanut butter and jelly. Soon everybody was eating, except for Buster. Carla looked at Buster. She looked at her sandwich. She looked back at Buster. You can have some of mine, she offered. I brought extra. Some kids snickered. Uh, no thanks, said Buster glumly. I'm not that desperate. Doris ate her egg sandwich and Rufus ate his tuna. Herbert ate a salmon, salmon sandwich and Barbara ate her turkey. Buster's mouth began to water. Buster looked at Carla's sandwich. Maybe bean sprouts aren't so bad, he thought. It's really quite delicious, said Carla, catching Buster's glance. Buster quickly turned away. Susan ate her corned beef sandwich. Harris munched his taco. Fabio ate his chicken sandwich. Gordon ate his meatloaf. Buster was growing hungrier by the minute, and his stomach was growling loudly. Raisins are kind of fun, he thought. And who doesn't like pretzels? Marcus ate his cheese sandwich. Darcy ate her bagel. Buster eyed Carla's sandwich again. You don't know what you're missing. Carla sang out. Buster couldn't take it anymore. He looked around. Everyone was busy eating. No one was watching him. Okay, he whispered to Carla. Okay, what? Asked Carla. Okay, can I have one? He whispered again. Can you have one, what? Asked Carla. Buster blurted out impatiently. Can I please have one of your sandwiches? <gasps> Everyone looked up. Carla smiled and handed Buster a combo deluxe. Buster examined the lettuce, tomato, raisin, bean sprout, pretzel, and mayonnaise sandwich carefully. He looked at Leslie, then Natty and Carla, and then he took a very small bite. All eyes were watching as he chewed and swallowed. Well, asked Leslie impatiently, well, asked Natty. Buster didn't say anything. He looked at everyone and took another bite. And another, and another. I can't believe he ate eating it, said Natty in disgust. What does it taste like, Buster? asked Leslie. Is it gross? Buster didn't answer. He was too busy eating. When, was, when the last bite was gone, Buster licked his fingers and smacked his lips. Yum, he said. That was the best sandwich I ever ate. It was? Asked Natty in horror. It was? Asked Leslie in dismay. It was, said Buster, smiling at Carla. Carla was beaming. I bet you'd all enjoy the combo deluxe, said Carla. Who'd like to try some? Slowly, Leslie raised her hand, then Natty raised his. Then Darcy and Susan and Rufus and Fabio. Soon all the kids had their hands in the air. Carla took her sandwich, broke it into small pieces, and handed them to, out to everyone. Oh, she's sharing her food. She's so kind. Wow, said Leslie, tasting her piece. This is terrific. Yes, yeah, said Natty. It was great. Tomorrow I'm going to bring a creative sandwich too, said Leslie. Maybe it'll be a mustard sandwich with baked beans and french fries. What do you think of that, Carla? Sounds good, said Carla. And it's definitely creative. 
I'll bring a spaghetti and soy sauce sandwich, said Buster, as he sat down next to Carla. Yum, said Carla and Leslie together. I don't know what I'm bringing yet, said Natty, but it'll be unique. The next day, everyone in Miss Pimento's class brought an unusual sandwich to school. There was asparagus and salad dressing sandwich, a pistachio and tangerine sandwich, and even a pizza sandwich. What'd you bring today, Carla? asked Buster. I'm not telling, said Carla. You'll have to wait until lunchtime. The next morning seemed to last forever, but finally the lunch bell rang. While Buster was munching away on his spaghetti and soy sauce sandwich, he glanced over at Carla. This time her sandwich was not green. It wasn't slimy or lumpy, and nothing was oozing out at the sides. So, what kind of sandwich is that? Buster asked. Yeah, Carla, said Leslie. What's inside? Nat Natty looked at Carla, waiting for an answer. Well, said Carla, today I have peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly, asked Buster in disbelief. Peanut butter and jelly, Leslie and Natty asked together. Peanut butter and jelly, said Carla, biting into her sandwich. I like to be different. Boys and girls, Carla's sandwich. Would you like to try and do something like that? Be, make a unique or creative sandwich or different? We actually do this every year in our classroom, but we can't do it this year. But I would like to see if you can make a creative sandwich at home. I'm going to sing way up high in an apple tree, and then I'm going to go and make my own creative sandwich. I brought some things from my house today, so you can see how I'm going to put it together. I'm going to do way up high in an apple tree right now. Ready? Way up high in an apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. Okay, boys and girls, Miss Anne's going to follow me over to the table and I'm going to make my creative sandwich. Here we go. We don't have any bread at our house, but we do have muffins. So you just use whatever you have at your house. So I brought my muffins right here, and I bought some blueberry cream cheese. You just spread it. You can spread it or have your mom spread it. Put it on both sides. You can use mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup. I have some turkey I'm going to put on it. I brought tortilla chips, and I brought some potato chips. Oh, it's so good. Anything you want. I brought some rice check cereal, because I like things that are crunchy. I brought some raisins. Chocolate chips. I'm going to put, and you know what? It's good to spread your things on the bottom first, because then it helps everything stick together. Yep chocolate chips. Put it all there. Then I love to eat pickles. So I'm going to put some pickles. One, two, three, four. Is it looking good? Then I found some pineapple I'd had. I'm going to put one there. This one kind of fell apart, so I'm just going to stick with that one. Here's the good part. Now you put it all together. and You can make a half a sandwich or a whole sandwich. I would start with the half. But here's the thing, when you put it together, it is fun, but you have to eat the whole thing or at least four or five bites because otherwise it's kind of wasting food. And you might be surprised at how delicious this is. Okay, boys and girls, here's my creative, unique Combo Deluxe Kelly's sandwich. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, boys and girls. It is so delicious. It really is. It's so good. <laughs> what I want you to do 
if you make a sandwich, take a picture of it and send it to me and tell me what you put on it. Kind of like what I did. I want you to have a great day. Have fun making a good, unique, creative sandwich. Love you guys. Bye.